Ludwig van Beethoven was born in the year 1770. Growing up in a dysfunctional home, Ludwig found joy in music. He fell in love with musical instruments from a very tender age of five or six. But there was a problem. His teacher judged him too harshly as he thought Ludwig van wasn't good enough. While his music teacher had a negative opinion about him, Ludwig van did not allow the fear of other people's opinion to stop him. He worked hard, practiced and rehearsed his music till he composed five of the best loved symphonies of all time. What if Ludwig van had allowed fear of what other people would say to stop him from pursuing his musical career? You see, J.R.R. Tolkien said, a man that flies from his fear may find that he has only taken a shortcut to meet it. Whatever you run away from, will eventually catch up with you. If you stop pursuing your dream because of the fear of criticism from others, then you'll end your life at the very point where you'll have no choice but to live with the criticism of others. If you're afraid of starting that business because of the fear of failure, which may lead to poverty, then you'll soon find out that you only took a shortcut to meet poverty. A man that flies from his fear may find that he has only taken a shortcut to meet it. On Tuesday, October 21, 2014, ScienceDaily.com published a study conducted by Chapman University, which was to find out the things Americans fear the most. According to this study, among the top five things Americans and most people in the world fear the most is public speaking. Now, I want to ask you, how many people in the world do you think are afraid of speaking in public? The answer to that question is everybody. I'm a public speaker, and I can tell you that every great speaker you know today was afraid of public speaking when they got started. What makes some of us become good speakers is the exposure to that fear. The more you speak in public, the less you're afraid of speaking. And that's true of everything in life. The best way to conquer any fear in your life is to face that fear. If you want to do something and you're worried about the criticism of your friends or parents, the best way to handle that is to expose yourself to that criticism. The more other people criticize you, the less you worry about their opinion. And at some point, you have the freedom to do what you ought to do because you've lost the fear of other people's opinion. Go out and face your fear. Do that thing you're afraid of doing and the power of fear over your life would disappear. A man that flies away from fear may find that he has only taken a shortcut to meet it. About seven years ago, my only brother invited me to his home, looked at my face and announced to me that he would never recognize me as his brother if I ended up as a failure in life. The reason why he said what he said was because for more than five years, he and everyone who loved me had tried everything they could to stop me from pursuing my entrepreneurial dream. I was failing year after year and these people could see how worse my life was becoming. They wanted to rescue me, but I wouldn't listen to their advice. Then they started threatening me. While I knew that pursuing my entrepreneurial dream was so risky and could lead me to poverty, I also knew that running away from such a dream would eventually lead me to an unfulfilled life and poverty. So whether I failed while pursuing my dream or I don't pursue that dream at all, the same fate awaits me. That's usually the case in life. Whatever you fear will eventually happen to you. Whichever thing you run away from, Will eventually catch up with you. If you allow the fear of poverty to stop you from pursuing wealth, then poverty will eventually catch up with you. If you allow the fear of what other people would say to stop you from pursuing your dream, you'll end up as a nobody, then people would still talk. Get out and try new things. Dare life. Make mistakes and learn from them. Don't allow fear to keep you from trying, because whatever you run away from will eventually catch up with you. A man that flies away from fear may find that he has only taken a shortcut to meet it. Thanks for watching. My name is Steve Courage. I'm a Nigerian entrepreneur and you can join my personal channel right here on the screen or at the description below. I love you.